So this is a big box, but what's inside is something I've been waiting on for a very long time. It's something, it's kind of crazy. It's hard to believe it actually exists and that it's shown up. Inside this box is a flamethrower, or sorry, not a flamethrower. It's from the boring company, Elon Musk's little side project. Mine just showed up, an actual, not a flamethrower, which is a flamethrower. Well, you hook this guy up and it shoots flames. So you tell me, is that a flamethrower? We got the propane. We got the marshmallows, thanks to Willy Do. So let's crack this guy open and see if we can make some flames. Ooh. Not, not a flamethrower. Now, apparently they decided to call it this because of shipping restrictions on actual flamethrowers. So instead, just come right out and say it. It's not a flamethrower. It sort of looks like a super soaker. Oh boy. Dear not so boring customer, the lawyers have spoken and due to shipping restrictions, we can't mail your glorious propane fuel. To make it up to you, we've included some cold hard cash. Stroll down to your local store and stock up on some nice C3H8. You'll be looking for a 14.1 ounce propane cylinder. That's what we have. Sweet, okay. They cover the cost of the propane because I guess originally they hoped to ship it with the propane and they couldn't, but then they also gave you the regional cash. That's pretty wild. Adjust the regulator, adjust the flame. Only operate the not a flamethrower in a well-ventilated area. Review the warnings. Look, it might not be a flamethrower, but there's a flame coming out of it, so. All right, let's check it out. Ooh, -hoo! oh man, it's, it's heavier than I expected. It's substantial and a collector's item because there's only so many of these. You can see my serial number here, 13915, and it says flamethrower below, but then not a uh, above that. But that, my friends, looks like a really cool video game-esque type of weaponry. Okay, just like so. And you wanna make sure you get the right tank. This is the 14.1 ounce tank. That's the one you want, available at your local hardware store. Rotate the regulator knob counterclockwise until it stops. Then the fuel will come out. You'll hear and smell gas. Oh, good Lord. Press the red ignition until the flame is lit. Ready? Turn in the knob, Jack. You ready? sprinklers in here holy moly that's bigger flame than i expected how close is it to over there can someone tell me it was really close Ooh. There's a sprinkler right up there, right there. Weapons are scary. Holy moat. Burning. Quick disclaimer, you're supposed to use this thing in like an open environment as much as possible if you bought one of these. I hope you're not a child. That thing, that is serious. It's more power and flame than I expected. I watched a couple videos, but when you're in the presence of the flame, 
and the burning, it's all so Whoa, real. I mean, man. obviously I should have known that, but holy smokes, that thing is cool. This center valve here, you turn that to open up the gas and then this regulator controls how much of it makes it to the end. So when this is turned on more, the idle flame before you hit the trigger is smaller, it's shorter. And then you hit the trigger and it jumps out. The whole thing feels sturdier than I expected as well. It's made out of some sort of a plastic, but like a really solid weighty plastic. So when you're holding it, it feels surprisingly substantial, more than I expected it to. I can be kind of controlled with it, to be honest, like that. That's a good outro right there. It's with music.